Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, it's Crimson Pharaoh, and in today's video we will be doing the middle game guide. Um, so, I just started the video here, I was just uh, doing these uh, <clears throat> necro runs, and I came along this one, and when you're getting into the late game, when you're pulling out a middle game, getting into the late game, um, this is kind of what more of what you're looking for, really, is um, the highest amount of stats that you can get. So this one is missing 1% um, crit rate. But otherwise, it's a six-star hero rune with base almost perfect stats. Um, it would have been better if it was 14% um, <clears throat> um, crit damage, and that the attack percent had a, had not gotten it. And then obviously, you know, just getting max crit rate. But if this had been a max roll into crit damage instead, um, it's even more viable at that point because I can potentially grind on um, plus 10 extra attack percentage onto it anyway and then I already have some extra crit damage there as it is. Um, of course I can still put on 10% uh, attack here and bring it to 26% um, but it's just like slightly less damage output. Um, if you guys hadn't thought about it before um, crit damage is definitely a more valuable stat when it comes to looking at the when it comes to looking at damage output than attack percentages um, and that can be a little skewed because when you're looking at something like a Tashar and it has over a thousand attack then it's like you should probably you obviously want to get crit damage on it but you can probably go for stuff that's um, even even higher in attack percentage or even fatal at that point because it has such high attack but um, not everything runs on attack like there's defense based damage dealers um, some have, um, based on your max HP, you've got HP based damage dealers, and you got a bunch of other attackers that have attack percentage sitting in the 700s too, that are actually viable attackers, it's just that, um, you need more crit damage to make up for it, kinda, but not really, it, it's a little, it's kinda hard to explain, like, I think you just have to play, you just have to play the game a lot and see different, how different rune sets work to understand why I'm not, I wouldn't be the best at explaining how all of that stuff works, but um, a percentage of crit damage basically is more valuable than a percentage of attack, um, typically. And I mean, again, if you're looking at something like Tishar, where it's got 1,000, it's uh, over, it's like 1,083 base attack or something like that, something absurd, um, then yeah, just push a bunch of attack percentage on them. Um, but <clears throat> most units aren't like that. Lucian's kind of funny too, because Lucian can end up being um, pretty good on stuff like with with high attack or just fatal sets in general too. Obviously, he's he's still even good on rage. So if that like if that helps describe why rage is better, that something with 900 base attack is still preferable on rage. Um, like that just shows that it's like. I mean, Tashar, Tashar, I'll just show Tashar's base stats. I'm pretty sure he has the highest in the game. Um, oh, it's 1,098. So I don't know if any of these have higher. Okay, so he has the highest base attack in the game, I'm pretty sure. Um, so he's got almost 200 more attack than Lucian. He probably, I would assume he's the best on Fatal and just having a bunch of attack percentage, but I don't, I don't exactly know. Uh, yeah. Anyway, in today's video, I didn't do too much this week uh, with all that, uh, with all the crit damage talk out of the way. Um, I just worked a ton. Like I, uh, we have a guy that's out, so I was just not able to play much. Um, I don't know. Yesterday might have been the first time. I don't know if I logged on. It might have been the first time in 230 days, basically since I started the account that I didn't log on. There might have been one other day around day 40 or 50, but I've pretty much logged in every other day, so I think I did miss, um, I think I did miss yesterday, um, but I, I tried to do some farming here and there where I could, I can show some, whoops, I can show some, some gems I got, uh, I think I thought I got a speed one on here, I th yeah, I'm pretty sure I got a speed one there, um, for that, I'll just show the highest, um, just the highest gems I got. Um, it was one of these two. One of these might be one of those rewards you get for completing like R5 or something though. But I got one of these at least from um, recently here. Um, 
probably got one of these recently too. We got HP and crit right there. Um, and then with this stuff here, uh, it's hard to say whether you should even keep blue stuff anymore um, for gems or for grinds, really, uh, because they're still obvious. I mean, it doesn't even matter if it's just a a, a vanilla like uh, you found you got lucky, really unlucky. But let's say it was luck. I mean, well. I mean, vanilla vanilla gems and grinds actually are significantly harder to find than legend ones are. But let's say you have a super vanilla one, um, and you get like one to two speed. I don't even know what it would be for a, a grind. Zero to one, maybe, for a vanilla. But you get a vanilla, it's still one extra speed. Um, obviously, if you get a legend one, it's four or five extra speed, but um, every little bit counts. But at the same time, it is a lot of, um, you get a lot of value out of selling these things. So we can pop into the fight ones and just show, I don't know if this sells all 10. Let's just do, um, we can just check this out. So for six of them, it's going to sell for 78,000 um, at just the blue level. So it's a ton of, um, a ton of stuff back. But then if you look at putting it onto something, so we have fight on, we have fight on her. Um, so if you look into putting stuff onto here, that is of blue, it is 25,000. So um, I can either just simply farm ones that are of a higher quality and hope for a higher roll there to begin with, because um, you're just going to put these on anyway. Um, or I could just go with this now and get what will very likely be a, a smaller stat boost. I mean, you can roll this and get six, and you can roll a purple one and get four, um, obviously. But, like, I could just sell these instead. Um, <clears throat> maybe these ones sell higher, too, because it's a percentage. I can check the math on that, too. 130. No, whoops. Okay, so now this one would sell for thirteen thousand. So here, this one is looking at selling for seventy-eight thousand. So twenty-six, fifty, fifty-two. Yeah, so seventy-eight. So each one is worth thirteen thousand then, and then this should just be one hundred and thirty thousand. Yep. So every blue. It doesn't matter. Every blue gem or uh, every blue grind is worth thirteen thousand. So you can just sell two of them and then make up the mana that you would have um, grinding a single gem onto something. And that's probably better for mana, but it's hard to say. Um, you guys can leave your thoughts in the comment section about that whether it's worth keeping blue at all. Because um, obviously, when you're farming it every twenty-seven seconds, I mean, you're farming. You can farm Rift Raid faster than you can farm dungeons for the most part. I mean, your rune quality has to be really, really high to get 20 second runs in dungeons. Um, Gambino actually just showed me a team. Um, good guy here. He just got um, a 22 second uh, Giants Keep run. This is completely insane. Another, again, uh, dude, congrats. This is totally insane that you got this run. Um, but like hit these these runes are obviously going to be very high quality um, And I guess we can just look at them see if they're out He's got to be running all of them on fight. I would imagine um, Yeah, so fight fight determination guard fight and fight so four fight sets here on These I don't think I don't know if the stats matter particularly much. He's got Really high accuracy on this one um, but as long as you're hitting the defense accuracy and speed, you're pretty much fine. And he's getting four fight sets on there once again. Um, this guy here, uh, he's sitting on pretty high, pretty high runes here, on rage, missing uh, an artifact there, but still a very fast run. Um, and then his illusion, I assume, is going to be uh, extremely good. I don't know which one. I'm just going to guess it's the one that's plus 55. Plus 62, okay, so yeah, plus 62 here. Um, it's on Fatal? Oh, it's on Rage still. Just really high attack percentage on it. Got nice, really high attack percentage there and flat attack. Just a lot of value in these runes. And 
<clears throat> yeah. So yeah, I mean, this is the kind of stuff you're looking at, and I'm sure his arena towers are max too, but um, getting to that point where you're getting, you know, 22 second runs on something um, is way harder than just getting the runes for a BJR5 team. Um, and so you can farm grinds and gems a lot faster and a lot earlier on than you can grind runes, so um, I'm thinking maybe just keeping the hero ones would be better, um, but it's hard to say. Um, anyway, I think that was basically it for this video. Um, yeah, I'm. Uh, I would say for the next week, I'm building this team here. These, uh, these both, both the copper teams, both of the copper bulldozer teams. I have Randy on there, um, and then after I get that stuff set up, I'll look into farming up like the tractor Windy Lulu team. I've, I'm relatively close to getting two more six stars, I think. Um, let's just throw all of it in here to see what I'm looking at here. So I've got seven there. Uh, I've a bunch of Devil Montu, which is really nice. Um, well, not a bunch, but um, not zero either. Uh, so it's like one and a half there. I've got these these ones here. I could bring like three more up or something, farm for a day, and bring three more of them up to here, get all of them up, and then I would have... Um, three more six stars I can make, which again would be like Windy, Windy, Nana, Lulu, something like that. So anyway, that's my plan for the next week. If I can farm that stuff up, uh, that seems like a pretty reasonable goal. Farm all that stuff up, get those two teams together, and then whatever run farming I can get done, um, I get done. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that's all for this video. Um, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.